Hello, prim friends. So I am back in Seville Antiques. Like I said, there's over 5,000 square feet here. And so there are a lot of areas that I have not gone through here yet with you. Oh, look at that early bike. This is a neat room with the fireplace surround right here. Oh, I love that blue. Great grain bin. This booth always has some really beautiful colored uh, painted pieces. And that's always fun to see. Lovely corner cabinet. And another painted with an old barn vent. I am trying to go a bit slower. That's also a lovely piece right there. It's got the, I'm sure the blue is under the beige. Beautiful candle box. Very nice. Large stitchery piece there. This is a really beautiful piece of furniture there. If somebody's looking for a piece for a pantry, you know, you can't, you cannot buy built-ins or have a cabinet made even for that price. I like that painting too. I just want to make sure everybody knows they need to like and subscribe. I hope you'll comment. I love hearing where you're from, where you're watching these videos. So like and subscribe. That'll help you know when the next one comes out. That's interesting. Those chairs are beautiful, the green, the tire maple in those chairs. Again, more painted primitive pieces. Neat little humpback trunk that's painted also. So Seville Antiques is located at 14 Milton Street in Seville, Ohio. It's probably about 40 minutes south of Cleveland and about an hour and a half or so north of Columbus. And this shop has over 5,000 square feet. And 39 dealers. November 19th, we're having a big Christmas open house.
And the dealers always pull out all the stops and bring some really special pieces that haven't haven't been in the shop. That the shop will be full and it will be a very Christmas atmosphere. And Gleaners Antiques will be open that day also, and that's about a half an hour south of us. I love that horse on the rockers. And if you look up, because you've always got to look up in this store, there's an awesome peak of gingerbread. Love those ovoid shaped jugs. And some with the blue decoration. They're so simple, but they're so elegant. And then more down below. Beautiful craft bench, too. This is a big space, and a lot of these pieces are really big, too. The old oaken bucket. 1909. January 9th, 1909. Don... Albert or Albert December nineteen oh eight. Love to know the story. Great pottery bank. And some fireplace trivets and a toaster. Beautiful. Another big stitchery piece there. Born the 22nd of May, 1837, November 1840. right down to September 1871 and then 1880. Maybe that was the year they did it. A pretty painting too. Okay, one more area here we'll go through and then I'm gonna wrap it up because I've gotta go with the last little bit of daylight and see how where we've gotten on the build. Those paintings are Love those little chicks. The colors are just so pretty. I hope the camera's picking that up. It's a neat old baluster. My husband and I actually looked to see if that would fit. And the rail for the stairs is here in the corner. It's a pretty color. But the dimensions just didn't quite fit. We're going to try to do old where we're able. Just to give it that already lived in feel. Nice little candle table. Pretty dry sink. Looks like that came out of an old hardware store. Can you imagine? The stories it could tell. Great old cubby. Yes, it is. 
just love that it's been saved. whole stack of old wooden board uh, bowls and that's pretty blue green on that table okay so I hope you uh, plan on stopping for the Christmas open house on the 19th of November. If you're not able to come that day, that's fine. Come another day. Seville Antiques is open from 10 o'clock until 5 o'clock every day except Tuesdays. And like I said, 5,000 square feet. When you see it from outside, you just would not even imagine how large this place really is. People are always so surprised. Folk art spear tip. Hmm. I wonder what the story is with that. Okay. I hope you'll like and share, subscribe, share with your friends, and definitely comment below. I do answer all of the comments. Take care, everybody. Keep hunting those prims. They are out there. Have a great night.